YouTube. What's the word? What's the vibes? How are you guys doing? First of all, before I start, I'd like to apologize for you guys. It's probably been a couple weeks since I dropped the befriending the bots. But as you can see, I'm at a different spot uh, because of quarantine, because of, you know, everything shutting down and us pretty much being locked in our houses for the foreseeable future. I did uh, move and stay with my girlfriend who lives in Columbus, Ohio, for the uh, for the entire quarantine. I'll be back home maybe when it ends. We'll see. Who knows when it's going to end. I hope all you guys are staying so safe. Hope all you guys are enjoying gaming. I have been gaming my ass off. Uh, so it, it's been, it hasn't been normal, but it's been normal for me, if you understand this whole quarantine thing. But I, I truly believe you guys are safe. Thank you guys for all your support on the Befriending the Bot series. So that's pretty much the reason I haven't really had time to sit down and record one of these. Uh, but I did notice all you guys vote on my last poll I had on Twitter, man. If you want to, you know, have your input on what the next Befriending the Bot series is, make sure you follow that Twitter below, man. And, and that's where I'm going to put a little poll out. What do you guys want to see next? What do you guys need help with? And essentially, uh, that's going to be the way for you guys to really talk about what you need help with. Also, you can also comment below because I read the hell out of those, man. But one of the number one things that I hear about are help us with pass protection, help us with pass protection. So for me, uh, that's fine. I'll help you guys. I will start by saying this. One, if you don't want to use a mobile quarterback, leave the video now. The game the game is already hard enough to pass about against these Blitz 7 and Blitz 8 people. Um, for me, I, you need a mobile quarterback. It just makes a bigger weapon because, one, you need to get away from all those people in the box. You know when they blitz you, there's 8, 9, 10 people in the box, right? And you need to get away from those. The further you can get away from that, that mess of bodies, the bigger play you can get. That's pretty much my philosophy uh, when facing these giant, you know, people just loading the box, blitzing the hell out of me, is can I get away from that and what can I do to get out of the pocket? So a mobile quarterback helps that. It's much more dangerous blitzing six and seven people against a quarterback that can not only pass for a touchdown, but can get escape contained and get out of the pocket. Uh, so I, let's just go into just, and I mean, I, there's so many different things you can do uh, to really pass protect and, and max protect and, and send out five every once in a while. But we're going to focus on just slide protecting. And what does it do? Uh, I will tell you, contains are very, very, very good in this game. They are amazing. But the running back kills them. That's what you have to realize. When you're pass protecting, your running back is your best blocker. It's hard to think that. It's hard to realize that. But in Madden 20, your running back 1 million percent is your best blocker. And what we're going to want to do is trigger some cut block animations because not only uh, will it take away one of the best pass rushers, it will take away the contain. So that's our goal when facing these blitzes is take away the contain. We want to get out of the pocket. So like I said, a mobile quarterback is, is ideal. Now I'll tell you guys, the, the, the reason why I've always had a mobile quarterback in Madden, this is every Madden. When people had Aaron Rodgers, I won a belt with Randall Cunningham. I have, I have had Vic since Madden 18. 1920 Michael Vick has been my quarterback since his card's been in the game because when you step back and think about it every quarterback can pass there's really no difference between Tom Brady passing and Michael Vick passing now that's if you and now somebody goes oh that's stupid it's Madden sucks man so it's, you're right I mean I there's no way to argue that that you know Tom Brady should be able to pass the same as Michael Vick now they have made tons of strides in making Tom Brady a little bit better with all these different abilities. Without without abilities, I mean, those quarterbacks would be pointless. You know, with the hot route master protected, they're actually, they're kind of usable. Now, so the abilities definitely bring those guys back into the realm of relevancy, but they're still a mobile quarterback. Can still pass the ball, can still throw the ball 80 yards, can still throw the ball on a dime to a slant route if you need it, but they can run too. So why not have... You know, the person that can do it all. And that's why I've always had a mobile quarterback. And you guys should, too, have a mobile quarterback. Uh, Vic is the best in the game for me. Uh, if you don't like a left-hand quarterback, Mahomes is really good. Uh, I don't like Lamar Jackson. I think his windup is nasty. I think he throws a nasty football. Uh, he is he is really fast. And if you're playing on regs, he's... I mean, Mahomes is an option. But it's crazy to say this. After playing mutt. Mahomes is kind of slow, but not on raise or anything, but let's get into the game. I, like I said, I'll tell you guys this. Um, I, I need a mobile quarterback. I do. And what we're going to work against is the pinch buck, the pinch buck, 3-4 odd. I mean, I it's something I put on the map the first week of Madden, pinch buck, blitz everybody. Um, So for me, uh, I know how to play against it. I know how to run it. And this is the key to me. 
I use New Orleans playbook. That's what we're in now is New Orleans. Um, the key to me is you have to realize, and, and this is like, this might, uh, some of the tips I'll give you guys here, pause, might be past the befriending bot stage. It might be a little bit too much. But one thing you want to do is, man, you want to make these adjustments as soon as possible. Because you know you play the guys that want to, one, they want to bring everybody in the box. Then they want to bring their safety down. Then they want to bring the other safety down. They might use a rush you. They might blitz eight. <clears throat> they might blitz nine. I want to snap the ball. I want to get them caught on somebody he doesn't want to be on. So for me, the number one thing I look for and why I like this gun wide trio, why, why all trio in New Orleans is because it has a lot of plays with the tight end blocking already. So if you can find plays with uh, the tight end blocking or the running back blocking, it will save you a hot route. And that's huge when you go up to the line of scrimmage. You want to do as least amount of adjustments as possible. And uh, I'll tell you, this is my favorite play to run against these blitz things. It's Saints deep out. And we'll go ahead and we'll put Hollywood Brown. He is on the right side on this deep post. Now, everything that I do here is pretty much, uh, hopefully we can respot the ball here. Everything I do here is is really much, you can use it in any single, any single play, any formation. But, and one thing I did not forgot to talk to you guys about, the reason why Bunch is good, the reason why Wide Trips is good is because, boom, you have a blocker on both sides. So you can max protect fairly quickly. Now, one thing you can do, I, let's see, am I off, offense, defense, special offense, okay. Now, defense, this is the look you'll get from these guys, right? Boom, something like that. Blitz everybody, bring this guy here, right? And obviously contain. Something like that, right? Even if they might even prove this guy here. So we're blitzing seven people. Right now, seven people. Now, like I said, if you have a tight end on one side, you have a running back on the other side. Now, if you guys have been playing this game, you haven't played it for eight, ten months now, you know the tight end will glitch and not really block this guy. So, can't really rely on just pass protecting. And the reason why, uh, obviously, the max protect idea is cool because you'll have, you'll have seven on seven right here, and you'll be able to do it. But one, you have to deal with one, the quarterback release being slow, pressure and accurate. Um, the running back, the quarterback is not an option to run the ball. So essentially what I do is you have to realize your slide protection kind of controls your running back more than your offensive line. You have it's, it's crazy to think, but think it about it that way. My slide protection controls my running back. I The biggest thing I have to do is understand where my running back is going to go here. So first thing we're going to do, obviously, is we're going to block Mark Ingram. Now, because this play already has Boyle blocking, I don't have to block him. Now, delay routes, <clears throat> most of the time for running backs, I wouldn't tell you rely on them. But for the tight end, he's going to block that guy right ahead of him. So what I want to do for slide protection against these blitzes is I want to slide away from the running back. Meaning if the running back's on the left, I want to slide to the right. So that's the first thing I'll do, slide right. So we got that. So now we'll block the running back, and what will happen is the running back will then step up and take the outside linebacker. And I don't want to wait in the pocket. If the running back blocks that's contained, he won't contain. Boom, he'll cut block. Now I'm out of the pocket. Now I can do I can run for a touchdown or Lamar Jackson smokes me. Now, if you're in Mutt, you have roaming dead eye, you have dashing dead eye, that's a touchdown. So that is the key. Uh, pretty much for me to get out of the pocket and make these plays. If you guys watch my Twitter, you guys watch me play the big touchdowns down the field because uh, you block that contain. Once you block that contain, boom, you're out of there. Same thing. Slide right, block the running back. And what he'll do is he will cut block that contain. You know, well, let me blitz all these guys. Contain, boom. Now, if I didn't do that, I think I did this this play too. Slide the running back. He'll block the contain, and we're out of there. Even though, But look, even if I don't want to pass, look how much space I have to run with Lamar Jackson. Now, I wouldn't recommend <laughs> juking with the quarterback. But that's what I mean about the modal quarterback. Get outside all these 14 bodies in here. If there's 14 bodies in here, mathematically, there can't be that many bodies in the rest of the field. You get the speed at quarterback, the speed at wide receiver to attack the fact they only have four or five, uh, you know, four or five DB or other defenders on the entire field. Once you get that going, you're good, you know, and that's why I like a mobile quarterback. 
you know so that's the way i like to let's see what it, what happens if i don't contain there if i don't block those guys slide like that look my tight end goes here and i can't and then i don't block the container my running back steps up gets the egg block and i can't block the contain and that's what i mean about contains are really 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 good in this game you know so if i don't do that slide protection slide right to make my running back go to the left then i i get contained and like i said you cannot but for some reason three four odd just glitches through a tight end every time you know that's that's what happens now obviously now let's just take it a step further now three four odd you can do this against with any you know multiple uh with a tight end and a running back on both on opposite sides you can do that now you guys know somebody will do this right they'll do this and they'll use this guy like that right the same thing works the only difference here is that uh, yes that that McCordy's going to come free i have to run away from him see but the contain takes a while i'm still off to the races because i have a faster quarterback you know now okay help you guys out again now, a smarter player will do this. Okay, you're going to cut block and roll out that way. Boom. The way to roll out this way, a little bit tougher, right? Right, here we go. What you want to do here on this way is you want to double team this outside linebacker. So now, even though there's eight blitzing and I'm using two blockers for one person, so essentially I have a, there's going to be two people coming free right now. But because I double team this outside linebacker, I know I'm going to block the hell out of him. So it's just going to be the Lamar Jackson show, right? We're just getting out of there. We're picking up 10, 15 yards or, or passing, you know, and, and there's a bunch of different ways you can go ahead and, and, and set up different pass plays behind that. But more more info on that, you know, maddenturf.com, you can check out all the ebooks for things like that. But that's just the way that I like to block these send seven, send eight blitzes, man. Uh, if you can't block that, you're not going to be able to pass in Madden 20. That has been the meta defense the entire year. And one thing you have to realize when you go into these, mobile quarterback must, right? <clears throat> it's a must. Because you see how devastating it is to get outside the pocket, right? Two, your slide protection kind of controls your running back. I'll, I'll, I'll take it even further here as we run it again, right? Let's try this even. You know, I don't know if it's going to work with a max protect set here, but let's try to slide left towards the running back side. I told you guys, always slide away from the running back. Well, let's see what he does if I slide left. I'm going to say in this set, because I have a delay on the tight end, I think the running backs want to step up in the pocket, but we'll see where he goes. No, he still went to the right side. See, that's what I mean. The, run, the slide control, as, as we see Marquise Brown, that's why I love that play, that deep post route. Get man up, cover two, just kills it. But slide protection controls your running back more than your offensive line. Uh, remember that. Remember that in the game. Remember what it does. This actually blocked this better, <laughs> better than I thought it would, really. And once again, if I wanted to roll out, I can roll out. to. You see the difference. Just in this play alone, you see the difference on how contains block. My left tackle, that contain is I'm not going anywhere to the left side. The right side, I am running out of there. That is the difference in the game. As you see, I'm get look at look at the space I have after that. That is a eight a seven man blitz. We cut block it, boom. Oh, actually, I think I was on one of the blitzers. Oh, no, I was on a safety. <clears throat> seven man blitz picked up effortlessly, and I can run out. Contain running back will kill to contain. Slide protection controls where your running back goes. Mobile quarterback, boom. Now, designing the plays behind that to not, to give you an option to pass and run, that's the uh, the next level into beating the blitz. You know, it's easy. I'm not going to say it's easy to get out of the pocket, but, you know, against the basic blitz, the basic blitz 7 and 8, it's pretty easy to get out the pocket. But once you get into, you know, more people, more advanced, it gets a little bit more tough, but it's easy to get out the pocket. You, I taught you guys how to get out of the pocket. Designing plays behind it a little tougher. So this is just the basic pass protection. When I said... Your slide protection controls your running back more than your offensive line. Just remember that. I don't know if you guys have realized that going through your process of trying to pick up blitzes, but that is the number one key you guys want to remember. So this is befriending the bots. This was basic pass protection. So um, 
I appreciate you guys hit it. Please hit the like button. Uh, this series is really popping. Like I said, between the quarantine, moving my entire setup, everything, uh, it's been a rough couple, not a rough couple weeks, but a long couple weeks. So I apologize that it took so long to drop another one of these, but the series has been popping. All you guys have been asking, so I appreciate it. Hit that like button and let me know what you want to see next.